The Mysteries of Magnesium On their website, The Hardy Soul, they state, Magnesium was primarily found in the topsoil and hence found its way into our food. New and modern farming techniques and the use of chemicals and fertilizers has rendered the soil devoid of magnesium. In other articles, tests have been done on food that show that in the last 50 years, many nutrients are now less than 50% of those earlier years. What they aren't telling you is that not only have our original foods been modified through breeding for commercial profits instead of nutrients, but they have also added many toxic chemicals that not only kill necessary microbes in the soil, but the same chemicals destroy those microbes in our gut. This is one of the reasons probiotics are available as a means to replace some of the millions that naturally reside in our gut. A shortage of magnesium is concerning as it regulates muscle and nerve function, blood sugar levels, and blood pressure in making protein, bone, and DNA. There is not a test that determines the level of magnesium in our bodies. But symptoms of too little include loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, and weakness. Extreme magnesium deficiency can cause numbness, tingling, muscle cramps, seizures, personality changes, and an abnormal heart rhythm. Some correlations between insulin resistance and magnesium have been noted. There are magnesium supplements, but like all supplements of minerals and vitamins, they are also added to foods we eat. And we can get an excess which can cause problems. On their website, The Hardy Soul, they say, Most of us eat too many overly processed foods filled with chemicals, preservatives, and additives that destroy our digestive systems, and not enough vegetables or other whole foods. On top of that, the vegetables, fruits, and whole food products that we are eating are harvested long before they are ready, sprayed with chemicals and pesticides, and shipped from thousands of miles away, leaving them much lower in nutritional value than the locally grown foods that used to make up the majority of our diets. The best way to get the proper amount of any nutrient is to eat lots of fresh vegetables. But if they are deficient in nutrients and covered with toxic chemicals, we will do more harm than good. Scientists have measured organic food and found that it has a better nutrient count with less pesticide chemicals, plastic particles and forever chemicals. Even better, find food that has been grown using regenerative farming methods. Not all organic farmers utilize sustainable farming methods, which produce the most nutritious food. Don't be afraid to ask. Many are not even aware of these farming methods. If in doubt, ask your doctor or registered dietitian. For your health's sake, read our book How the Food Industry is Killing Us. Available on Amazon, retail bookstores, and online worldwide.